Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, potential students, parents, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we shall start the webinar now. My name is uh, Yen Xiaoqia. I'm the course chair for computer engineering in the School of Engineering at Temasek Polytechnic. I'll be a I will be your host for today's webinar, Digitalizing Our Hyper-Connected Future. Welcome. Today, my colleagues and I will share with you on how our courses will prepare our students so that they will be ready for the digital workforce when they graduate. Besides myself, here with me are the course chair for electronics, Chapman. Hello. Uh, Mr. Lim Chapman, and the course chair for common engineering program, Ms. Mary Joseph. Yeah. Hello, everyone. Uh, to get Together with us is also Ms. Ku Xiang Tri, who is also here to help us to moderate the session. Okay, we'll be sharing our curriculum and programs for computer engineering as well as electronics. Ms. Mary Joseph will also be sharing with you on the common entry program known as Common Engineering Program, where students may decide on which engineering course is more suitable for him or her after two semesters. At the end of this sharing, we'll be around to answer any question that you may have. During your presentation, I appeal to you that you raise your questions in the Q&A section and we will try our best to answer them later. Without further delay, let me, let's start with the presentations. Hi everyone. Thank you for joining us today and allowing me to share a little bit about Diploma in Computer Engineering in Temasek Polytechnic. In TP, Diploma in Computer Engineering is also known as CEN. For the rest of the presentation, I will be using the short name CEN instead of Computer Engineering. For the next 15 minutes or so, I will be sharing with you what we teach, why we think you should take up the course, and how this course is able to help you in your future career. So what is Computer Engineering? Someone in Wikipedia defines CEN as a branch of engineering that integrates several fields of computer science and electronic engineering that is required to develop computer hardware and software. The integration of hardware and software is what makes CEN very different from other engineering or IT courses. Let me try to put some context into what was defined earlier. As you can see from the graphics on the screen, CEN is an integral part when it comes to developing a smart city or when companies embarked on Industry 4.0 revolutions or the very often heard digitalization of work processes in workplaces. In order for a CEN graduate to be able to do all that, our students will learn many things as you can see from this chart. We cover the traditional areas of CEN such as the software development, electronics and embedded hardware design, as well as networking. At the same time, we provide exposures to our students in the emerging technologies such as Internet of Things, Data Analytics, Artificial Intelligence and Machine Learning, Augmented and Virtual Reality, cybersecurity, and robotic processes automations. The curriculum is designed to provide enough foundations for our students, at the same time ensuring that they are ready for the demands in the new workplace. This chart may look very complicated, but what it is trying to show is how a CEN student will be scaffolded on his or her learning throughout his or her three years with us. You will notice that the Year 1 curriculum is similar to other engineering courses in TP. This is because CEN is part of the Common Engineering Program in Engineering School. Ms. Mary Joseph will share more about the program in a later presentation. In Year 2, students will develop depth in related areas to prepare them for their year three, where they will need to do a major project and student internship. 
Students will also be asked to choose a set of electives where they will be trained in selected areas such as Industry Internet of Things, Virtual Reality, Intralogistics and Cybersecurity. For selected students, they may choose to start their university program with SUTD early and they will spend the last semester studying some SUTD subjects. When planning for this curriculum, the course had taken into consideration the needs for providing enough fundamentals where students can continue to learn on their own, but also let them learn relevant skills where they can join a company and start contributing immediately. Hopefully, I have convinced you that we have put in a lot of effort and thoughts into developing the curriculum to ensure that our graduates will be successful in their future career. I will use the next few slides to show you what are available for our students and what we do to help them achieve their goals. Some areas that I will be covering are shown here. Let's first look at the kind of projects and internships that CEN students are involved in. Over the past many years, CEN students have had many opportunities to work on projects with our industry partners. Some of the more recent projects are involved in the healthcare sectors with requirements from hospitals and medical practitioners. In the areas of internship, CEN students are attached to a variety of companies from different sectors. We are able to do this because the skills that CEN students possesses allows them to contribute to different organizations in different ways. In other words, CEN graduates were less likely to be affected by any economic downturn as there will be some companies that will continue to do well despite others not doing so. Like in the current pandemic situation, where the aerospace and tourism sectors are down, other sectors such as e-commerce or software development companies are doing very well. This companies continues to approach us for internship placements. Before moving on, I would also like to share that CEN has a program with GovTech that will allow our students to be interned at their organization for one full year instead of the usual 19 weeks. Students interned at GovTech will be paid for the entire year and will be treated like an employee, providing them with an authentic experience on working in the tech industry. Next, let me share that CEN students are eligible for a number of scholarships from the government agencies and established companies. The chart here shows a non-exhaustive list of scholarships that CEN students may apply to. I am proud to say that a number of CEN students had applied and had been successful in obtaining a number of scholarships. Next, Please allow me to showcase some achievements of our students in the many different competitions that they had participated in. Over the past few years, a number of CEN students had grouped together to participate in the Lee Sien Lung Interactive Digital Media Smart Nation Award, and we are proud to share that our students had consistently done well and had been awarded as one of the top five teams in 2019, 2020, and 2021. In the Assistive and Rehabilitation Technology Student Innovation Challenge, also known as ARTSIC competition, our students competed against other students from the other local IHLs. They had done very well to obtain the Gold Award in 2019, 2020, and 2021, together with many other awards. The winners of the local ARTSIC competitions then represent Singapore 
at the International Student Innovation Challenge, which is hosted by different regional countries every year. CDN students represented Singapore at Canberra in 2019 and virtually at Taipei in 2020. Unfortunately, the winners of the 2021 competition, who were expected to represent Singapore in Bangkok, did not get a chance to do so as the event was cancelled due to the pandemic. Participation in these competitions had allowed our students to showcase their talent and abilities while helping them to build up their portfolio so that they may stand out in their future job, university or scholarship applications. Up to now, I have been sharing with you on how we train our students, as well as what they will be going through in their three years with us. I am sure for a lot of you in the audience, you will want to know what does all these mean when a student graduate? Will what they learn in school be useful? Can they find a job after they graduate? What about further studies? I will attempt to answer these questions in the next few slides. First, let me share the report prepared by SSG, Skills Demand for the Future Economy, that was published on 8th December 2021. The report highlighted four key points shown here. You will be glad to know that CEN graduates will be able to contribute to the digital economy, which is listed as one of the key growth areas. The training that our student had gotten in school will allow them to contribute to the tech-heavy roles mentioned in the report. I had also done a comparison on what we teach and if our graduates are able to take up the many roles that were spelled out in the SSG report. From this chart, I am glad to share that our graduates should be able to contribute to the many roles as shown here. In 2021, there were many reports by different governments highlighting the urgent need and shortage of tech talent in Singapore. CN students are trained to work in the tech industry, and this report assured us that CN graduates will have a higher chance of landing a suitable employment after they graduate. With these reports, I am very confident that CN graduates will be very employable when they graduate. While it is assuring to know that what our graduates learn will be relevant and they will be able to find a job after graduation, I know many of you are also looking at further studies opportunities. I will share with you on what the five local universities are offering. As you can see, besides the two older local universities, NUS and NTU, others such as SUTD, SMU and SIT also offer similar programs in either computer engineering or computer science-related courses. If you intend to further studies locally, you will have many choices. Similarly, if you are looking to study overseas, computer engineering or computer science is a traditional course that most renowned universities will offer. You may want to go to their websites and find out more. Lastly, do allow me to summarize on why we think computer engineering is the right course for you. Hopefully, from my presentation, you will find that the course can be interesting and fun, the knowledge and skills learned is relevant, you will have many choices to further your studies if you choose to, and definitely have a bright and successful career ahead of you. Thank you. If you want to know more about the course, you may scan the QR code to visit our website. If you have any questions about my presentation, do share them in the Q&A session and I will try my best to answer them. Thank you. That, that brings the end to, of the computer engineering presentations. Uh, if you have any questions, do raise them in the Q&A panel and we will try to answer them.
Uh, let's move on. Uh, electronics will now share their presentation. Diploma in electronics, a career in electronics. Electronics bring advancement to the mankind. We can find its application everywhere from our mobile phone, computers, MRT, school, office, to airplane that we take, to medical equipment and sophisticated smart system. As Singapore progressed towards becoming a smart nation, TP Electronics course prepare you for the current and emerging needs encompassing the Internet of Things, data analytics, robotics, digital transformation, advanced manufacturing, assistive technology, and a green environment to meet the challenging needs of the industry. A career in electronics, you can have access to a wide range of the industry. There are a wide range of industry that needs electronics professional. For example, the aerospace industry, the electronics industry, robotic and automation, semiconductor industry that makes sophisticated integrated chips that use for our mobile phone and computer and many sophisticated devices, smart system integration, electronics services, networking, telecommunication example like 5G, healthcare equipment, and land transport and many others. The Diploma in Electronics course in TP is a broad base with in-depth training of electronics and software skills that will prepare you for future career in a wide range of jobs and industry that requires application of electronics. The electronics course grooms you holistically in both the generic skills and the technical skills. It enables you access to a wide range of career options related to electronics application, software programming, and data analytics. The Diploma in Electronics training in TP. During the year one of training, you will be building a strong engineering foundation. We will study subjects like engineering mathematics, circuits, engineering physics, and programming, and etc. Now, when you progress to the year two, you will be training in the electronics core to go deeper into training of electronics. You will learn subjects in how to apply electronics in many of the applications. You will learn embedded hardware and software that able to integrate to many sophisticated system. You will learn data analytics power electronics and drive that are used in many of the electric vehicles and also clean energy. And also you'll learn subjects like control system that is needed in the uh, sophisticated control of precisions, placement and fast response time, for example, robotics arms. In year three, students will get to choose area of specialization. You get to choose in area of industrial AI, avionics, semiconductor technology, robotics, intralogistic and cyber security. And those students who are aspire to further your study, you can choose the TP SUTD University pathway program in your third year, which means that you are able to study for your university module while you are still with the diploma in electronics course. In the third year, students will also be attached out to the industry for one semester of student internship. Students will able to learn application of knowledge and skills that apply in the industry. And you will also have opportunity to work on major projects to apply your knowledge and skills to build interesting major project. After your graduation, you can choose to become an electronics professional where many of the career options are open to you. You can also become an entrepreneur or 
you could further your study into the university. Those who are interested in the aerospace, you can choose avionics cluster elective. Those who are interested in artificial intelligence to build smart system, you can choose industrial artificial intelligence cluster elective. Those who are interested how some of these sophisticated integrated circuits are being made for your handphone, for electric vehicles, uh, many sophisticated systems. You can choose the semiconductor technology. If you are interested to work with robot, you can choose the robotic and automation cluster elective. And if you are interested in cross-disciplinary training, to be trained with knowledge of logistic and also IT cybersecurity. You can choose the intra logistic and cybersecurity cluster elective. And for those who are interested to further your university pathway, you can choose the TP SUTD pathway. While you in TP, you can take university module during your third year. And if you continue into SUTD degree program after your graduation from your diploma, you will be able to look forward for a earlier graduation date than compared to many others who are not in this TP SUTD pathway program. Students in the electronics diploma will have opportunity to access to our center of excellence. You're able to access to Clean Energy Research Center, Healthcare Engineering Center, TP Advanced Manufacturing Center, Robotic and Automation Center. You'll have the opportunity to learn alongside with professional and expert from all these center. Those who aspire to further your study, you have a choice to further your study in local university or overseas university. With a diploma in electronics, you are eligible to be enrolled in the local and overseas university if you have good performance and you are able to get up to one year of credit exemption and subject to the university approval. So join us for a broad base with in-depth electronics curriculum that will prepare you for a wide range of career options. Thank you very much. If you'd like to find out more about Diploma in Electronics course, you can scan this QR code to the Electronics web page to find out more. Thank you. Hello. Hi, that was the presentation from Electronics. Again, if you have any questions, please type your questions in the Q&A. Uh, next, coming up, we have a presentation by Common Engineering Program. Hello everyone, you have just seen a couple of engineering courses that Tamasic Poly can offer. Have you found the course you are looking for? Interested in pursuing engineering but unsure of which course to choose? Let me introduce you to Common Engineering Program, CP in short. My name is Mary Joseph and I am the course chair for Common Engineering Program. Before we go into the details, let's watch this video. I wanted to pursue an engineering diploma from Temasek Polytechnic. I did not know what I wanted to choose from. I decided to join the Common Engineering Program, which allows me to get a feel of other diploma courses and to make an informed choice. And I'm glad that I didn't uh, regret what I chose back then. I'm Elvin, a year 2 student from Biomedical Engineering. We learn basic uh, engineering concepts and skills like uh, circuit analysis, soldering and even programming as well. I also have an uh, opportunity to attend a common engineering program streaming talk. Different course chairs will uh, present their diplomas, their career prospects as well, what to expect after we join them. Even though you'll be streaming in different semesters, I will be still graduating same as uh, my peers uh, that join the course directly because we undertake the same modules uh, in our year one all the way to year three. You 
just heard from Elvin. He made an informed choice after joining Common Engineering program. This program allows you to get a better understanding of the seven diplomas before making an informed decision about which diploma best suits your interests and passion. CP is your gateway to one of seven engineering diplomas. It gives you more time to explore your options and discover your interests in the first year. Students in this program will participate in the course streaming exercise in semester one or semester two. And if they are successful in their selection, they'll join the diploma in semester two or year two, depending on the diploma course. Do note that the course streaming is based on students' choice and merit meaning that we will only look at your Polytechnic semester one results and no longer your O-level aggregate score. You can join all the seven diploma courses directly as well. So if you are very sure about your course, apply directly to the diploma course and graduate in three years. If you join through CP, you will do the same set of common year one subjects as those who join the diploma directly. Hence, you will join the diploma seamlessly and graduate along with your peers at the same time in three years. I want to leave you with five key takeaways about Common Engineering Program. Takeaway number one, it's meant for anyone who is not sure which engineering course to pursue and need more time to consider. Takeaway number two, it's a major decision selecting your diploma that's going to be your future career. Do join us first and then decide in year one, semester one or semester two. The most valuable part of Common Engineering program is that we don't leave you alone to make a decision. We'll organize course talks, inviting course teams from various diplomas to share about their course. We'll also organize diploma workshops to let you have hands-on feel about the courses. Not only that, we'll equip you with decision-making tool, which is specially designed by our career guidance team. All this will help you make an informed decision of the course that best suits you. Takeaway number four. Another important point I would like to make is this program gives you another chance to try for your dream course. For example, some students may have missed the cutoff points for their dream course. They join the common engineering program, put in extra efforts, get good results in semester one, and then pick up the dream course during the streaming exercise and finally get what they want. Takeaway number five, all CP students will graduate at the same time as anyone who joined the diploma program directly in semester one, which means standard three-year course for all and no extra year needed. So far, you have not heard me talk about any diploma course in specific, but instead I've shared with you how common engineering program works to your benefit by giving you more time to think about the course you want to pursue. Please check our website to find out for more details about the CP program. With that, all the best to your next stage of learning journey. I shall now open up for Q&A. Hi all, we have come to the end of all the presentations. I, I hope I've given we have given you some idea of what the courses are able to offer you. If you have any further questions, do type them in the Q&A session. We'll try our best to address them. Uh, also note that we will be hosting online course advisement sessions during open house and, and the joint admission exercise period. You may find out how to book a consultation slot in the TP open house and joint admission exercise websites. Uh, these are our Contacts, you may also reach, reach out to us uh, if you have any queries. Uh, and now I open the floor for anybody to ask any questions. Anybody? So far, no. Maybe, maybe we start with 
asking something out. We just share a little bit about our course uh, uh, just to get the, the conversation going. Uh, maybe I say a little bit about computer engineering. I mean, we, we shared quite a bit about what the course is about. Uh, maybe some of you may want to know things like, uh, oh, why, why do I choose computer engineering compared to an IT course? Uh, I, I, that is a very common question that a lot of people ask. Let me just say that uh, in, in computer engineering, besides learning what, how to write software, how to develop applications, uh, we are also well-versed in the hardware areas. We are trained in the electronics and how to integrate the electronics with the software, uh, allowing our students to develop solutions for end-to-end. -end. All right, uh, uh, IT students may be very good in the software development portion. Uh, they will probably be a bit more lacking in the hardware side, okay? So that what makes a bit different from our course compared to IT course. Uh, well, if you say, are we better or that, or they are better, I don't think I can answer that. But all I can say is I think we, our students are able to reach out to a lot more roles uh, than some of the IT courses that were offered, okay? Uh, I've done my sharing, maybe. Uh, Mr. Lim, you want to share something about electronics? Uh, yes, thank you, Mr. Yan. Yes, uh, electronics, I would like to share is, uh, electronics has been an uh, important industry in Singapore, and it has been contributing to a significant uh, GDP to Singapore. Uh, and uh, currently, there are more than 68,000 of electronics uh, employees uh, in Singapore, right? And electronics uh, graduates not only can work in the electronics industry or, or semicon industry, they also are able to work in uh, many other uh, industries like the aerospace industry, biomedical, uh, can work on the biomedical equipment, uh, especially the emerging uh, technologies area like uh, IoT, uh, advanced manufacturing, and uh, the green uh, uh, environment like autonomous vehicle, electric vehicles, all those areas and robotics. So electronics is a course that uh, a graduate would have many choices to choose from uh, to work in. And uh, it's also uh, during the pandemic period, many of the industry actually are affected. However, the electronics industry continue to actually add uh, new employment and uh, our graduates from electronics could find jobs very quickly, all right, even during the pandemic period. And uh, how about the trend of electronics? Now, uh, if recently you uh, watch the news, uh, some of the car manufacturer has to actually stop their production or uh, postpone their production. It is because of a shortage of the integrated circuit, which is the electronics uh, component. And definitely electronics is uh, currently it's needed and more will be needed due to the emerging technology needs. Uh, what are the needs that will need more electronics? For example, many of the vehicles will be converting to electric vehicles. Many of the uh, energy plant could be converted to green energy and converting solar power to you know, energy that we can use at home will need electronics or wind turbine convert to uh, energy that we can use. All these will need electronics. And also, uh, with the uh, digitalization of many things in uh, cloud computing are available and more data will be you know, needed. And therefore, what is needed more uh, to support this is the memory. And therefore, uh, electronics memory will be also uh, needed. So definitely, there is a continuous uh, need of electronics with all these uh, emerging uh, technology needs. Thank you, Mr. Yen. Uh, thank you, Mr. Lim. Uh, maybe let me, at this point, let, let Madam, uh, Ms. Ms. Mary Joseph to share a little bit about component engineering that maybe wasn't brought up in the presentation. Mary? Yeah. Okay, thanks, uh, Xiao Chiang. Uh, so, uh, good afternoon, uh, everyone. I think it's almost evening now. So, uh, we, we this morning, we had a 
the school webinar, engineering school webinar, and there were a lot of queries about uh, common engineering program. And one of the common query that I saw there was, you know, what's the difference between uh, getting a uh, uh, joining common engineering program and direct entry into, for example, electronics or computer engineering. Okay, so let me uh, uh, talk a bit about that. Okay, uh, see, students can join directly into electronics or uh, computer engineering. So if you are very sure, you know you're passionate about electronics or you're passionate about computer engineering, our advice is, yeah, please, uh, you know, make make your decision now when you're joining engineering school okay you you are very passionate you're sure you will get in please go in through the direct entry program okay but let's say you have not decided you don't know you you like engineering but you don't know which diploma to choose okay you are you you have this uh, thing in mind do i want to do electronics do i want to do computer engineering okay uh, then common engineering program would be the perfect choice, okay? Come to common engineering program because all the seven diplomas that I mentioned in the video, uh, the year one is common, okay? It's a foundation year for all these seven diplomas and uh, you will be going through the same set of subjects, okay? And uh, while you're going through these subjects in year one, we'll be also engaging you in workshops and talks, uh, uh, conducted by these seven diploma programs, and you'll get to understand more about the seven diplomas. So from there, uh, you can make an informed decision. We'll be also engage, uh, arranging some career guidance uh, workshops and sessions for you all to make a decision, uh, help you make a decision. Uh, another query I had was, um, you know, is, is common engineering program a four-year program? You know, do I do one year foundation and then do three years of the diploma program? No, right? I want to clarify this. Huh? Uh, common engineering program is just is a foundation year because this one year, the first year is common for all the seven diploma programs. So once uh, you have completed this uh, year one, you join the diploma program. Uh, it's the second year and the third year. And you, no matter what, you will still complete in three years. Okay, so it's still, it's still a three-year diploma. Can okay, you will graduate? So for example, if you're streaming into computer engineering or you're streaming into electronics, right? You'll graduate with a diploma in electronics or diploma in computer engineering and uh, you are graduating in three years. Okay, so that's something I'd like to emphasize and uh, share with everyone here. Yeah, over to you, Sao Chiang. Uh, thank you, thank you, Mary. Uh... Well, I, we still don't see any questions uh, being raised. Uh, I, 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 let, I, I don't know what else you want to know. Uh, maybe from the last, last seminar, seminar that we had, somebody mm -hmm. asked whether what's our intake. Uh, you guys don't mind sharing. Uh, for computer engineering, I can share that our coming intake, EJ intake is uh, 100 placement. Uh, maybe electronics? For electronics, uh, there will be uh, 50 uh, intake. For common engineering program, we'll be taking in 465 students. Wow. That oh, that's is, a lot of students. Yeah, that's a lot of students. <laughs> yeah, but you need to divide, classes. Equally, yeah. you need to divide among seven courses. That's why it takes so, so many. Yes, that's right. right. Yeah. Okay. Uh, any other question? Anybody got any burning question that you want to ask? Uh, something that we can help you with? Uh, like I said, what is shown on the, on the screen now is some is our, is all our contacts. Uh, you can always look for us and uh, drop us an email if you really think that you want to maybe ask a bit something more private uh, or visit or check, go to the website and book a e-consultation slot and uh, one of our colleagues or myself or Mary or Mr. Lim Chapman here, we will be able to answer your query face to one-to-one. Uh, -one. All right. Anything else? If not, I think we will end the session here today. Thank you everyone for your time. Uh, it's a Saturday and uh, I hope you enjoy the rest of your uh, weekends. Uh, do help us uh, by completing a survey, uh, providing us some feedback on what we, how we are done. Uh, hopefully with that we can do better the next time. Thank you very much. Yeah, thanks you everyone around. and all the best. Thank you everyone. All the best to you.